If humor in games is a crapshoot and difficulty is hard to quantify, then feel is a slippery snake indeed. What the hell is it? Well, as they say, you know it when you know it. Like when, for whatever reason, a game just plays great or hits you in the feels. Or maybe it strays outside the box and nails it. It just clicks, fires in all cylinders. Pick your metaphor. It's also pretty easy to tell when a game doesn't feel right, too. There's something wonky about the controls or movement. Maybe it's the pacing. There's a disconnect between what the developers obviously wanted and the end result. What's clear is that feel isn't a secret ingredient that only belongs to AAA houses. Feels a little like a guitar harmonic. It pops out because everything else is right on and in tune. So here's a group of eight games that the Sage folks at Ka Connected agreed felt good. Unsighted was a 2D action Metroidvania RPG with a retro feel, art style, and the overall vibe of a classic, you know, but with several twists. The biggest wrinkle was in the way the game handled time and the need to complete certain tasks within a time limit, which could be turned off. Aside from that, the Zelda-like exploration, combat, movement, and character progression mechanics added it up to an addictive game, and if it didn't feel great, that would not have been the case. There are a couple ways that playing Hitman 3, the third, duh, in a series of action stealth games from IO Interactive felt great. The mechanics of moving through the environments and finding shortcuts, sneaking around and disposing of enemies unseen was fun as always. What also felt great was the satisfaction of solving the assassination puzzles in the craziest or stealthiest way possible. Part roguelike, part puzzle game and all FPS action, Deathloop is a great example of a game with flaws right out of the gate. The low level enemy AI wasn't awesome and the souls like invasion mechanic was kinda broken, but what it nailed down was feel. The combat, exploration, story, and puzzle solving all worked for a whole bunch of critics and gamers alike. Deathloop is proof that a game doesn't have to be perfect to have a great feel. Whether playing Returnal feels good or is an exercise in frustration is in the hands of the player. Fans of bullet hell games or Soulsborne games vibe with Returnal's combat, players who look for linear progress might have been confused. Still, nearly everyone agreed the game's fast-paced gunplay and exploration were pretty awesome. Although it didn't necessarily reinvent action platforming, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart fine-tuned and spit-shined it. Some have called Rift Apart the best-looking game of all time. It's certainly a proof of concept for the PS5, and that includes the power of the DualSense controller. Does Rift Apart feel good? We think you know the answer. Some have called Forza Horizon 5 the best open-world game, not just a driving game, ever made. It's definitely the culmination of the series. It feels good to play Forza Horizon 5 for so many reasons. The driving is amazing, there's a ton of stuff to do, and the game's version of Mexico is entertaining to explore. Forza Horizon 5 makes the idea of feel seem inevitable. There's probably an entire generation of gamers who haven't had the fun of playing an original 2D Metroid game since the last one was Metroid Fusion in 2002. Metroid Dread was the side-scroller that everyone had been waiting for, and no one was disappointed by its action, controls, and combat. In short, it felt like a classic Metroid game. It felt great. Okay, we get it. Not everyone loves Infinite's open world campaign. As an aside, some of us think it's a welcome change. Forget the campaign, what feels great about Halo Infinite is the stuff that's always felt great in the best Halo games. Combat, weapons, and multiplayer. The Halo Infinite was a success, was a relief to many shooter fans, burned by the twin failures of Battlefield 2042 and COD Vanguard. Congrats to Halo Infinite for feeling the best in 2021.